Matt. This is Kelly Carl, and welcome to. Impact Wrestling, and then of course the next video that we do, we will talk about all in in Wembley Stadium. Yep. So, yeah, it's interesting to me how we just came off of Multiverse United, and then we're going right into Emergence. Yeah. And, I mean, it's kind of one of those things where I feel like it was in a promotional pay-per-view. You have Impact in New Japan, and so I think this is more or less just an Impact pay-per-view, but at the same time, it's like, it's kind of a little bit close together, so... yeah. Now, obviously, we'll get to uploading the play-by-play -play that we just did. So, we're going to hear the talk about Emergence, and yeah, the card looks pretty good. Right. So, anyways... Let's get to it. The, the world title is in, involved in this card, it looks like. Yeah. So, let's talk about... <laughs> Kenny King versus Johnny Springer. Yeah. I find it interesting how Johnny Springer has been having matches fairly regularly on shows. But he's mainly, he's just a fucking jobber. Well, yeah, I mean... When he was in WCW, I honestly don't know what he did. Yeah, that's basically it. He's a guy that's stuck in the 80s, 90s, whatever the fuck. And yeah, I didn't like him then. I don't like him now. I think he's phony. But I don't know if that's just his gimmick. He's not even that good of a wrestler. Meh. So, I mean, yeah, I think Kenny King is going to retain. Yeah, me too. To what they're calling a back to school match. Well, I mean, kids are going back to school pretty soon. We are nearing the end of summer and it's coming up to the end of August. Anyways, once again, you've got Frankie Casarian versus Eddie Edwards. Yeah. It's like, what are they gonna do? Stab themselves <clears throat> with pencils? <laughs> so. Stab each other with pencils. Whack each other with meter sticks. Yeah. Cut chalkboard erasers in each other's face. Well, that's possible. I mean, it's kind of a dumb match. Fling I each, <laughs> Fling erasers in each other's head. Yeah. Like, I don't know if this is a, one of those things where it's like, it's just a, 
a way of like it's a no disqualification match. You know, call it back to school because you know summer's almost over and kids are going back to school soon. So hey, let's have a back to school match. I mean, Impact has gotten creative before with their matches, so it'll be interesting to see where this would go. I mean, you never know. You may see a friggin' meter stick you used or one of those long wooden pointer things to point at like things on the chalkboard or sometimes up above the chalkboard you'd have the whole alphabet you point at that or something or you know hell I could see fucking binders used and yeah break out a laptop <laughs> yeah I use that or you know yeah I mean impact is creative that way well, who knows? I mean, this has been a good feud. I think that... I don't know if they're one-on-one -on -one or how many times they beat each other. But... I honestly don't know. Like, I think that Eddie Edwards is a good wrestler. He's got that hardcore background. He's got the fact that he was in New Japan. he got... Also, Frank Kazarian, who's an Impact alumni. Yes. So, ah, eh, fuck it. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna say Eddie Edwards. Yeah, I'll go. Yeah, I'll go Eddie as well. All right. Like he's got that, you know, more twisted side, if you will, and he, he really like candy and you know. He, He's got that darker side, and so I think he's got the advantage in this one. Title match. You've got Courtney Rush and Jessica taking on Misha Slamovich and Killer Kelly taking on this is the Sontourage. Giselle Shaw and Savannah Evans and the Coven, Taylor Wilde and Kaylin King. Yeah, this is gonna be interesting. I mean, it was kind of fascinating to me that Rosemary went back to Courtney Rush. Yeah. You have, of course, the Jessica Havoc character gone. Now it's just Jessica, whatever. Right. We all know that Misha and Killer Kelly are very good as a take team. Yep. And yeah, as for the other ones as well. It's going to be a really good match. Yeah. As far as who's going to win. Honestly, I think that Killer Kelly and Misha are going to retain. I think so. Yeah. Like... MK Ultra have only held the tag titles since taking the tag titles off the coven like two months ago? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, so I think they'll have the titles a little longer. So, yeah, I mean, I want to see MK Ultra and Courtney and Jessica have a match on their own. Yeah. I know that. Courtney Rush, as Rosemary at least, has had the Knockouts titles. Yes. Actually, I think so does Jessica. It'll be interesting to see them as the take team champions again. Right. So, especially in that form. We have a no disqualification match. You've got these two guys who used to be on the same team. You've got Eric Young versus Cody Diener. Yep. Formerly a Violent by Design, now it's, J now it's the design of Diener and Khan. Eric Young was excommunicated from the group, basically. And what we saw leading up to the match with Diener and Bully versus 
Scott Demore and Eric Young. And uh, so then that, you know, they've still been going at each other for the last several months. And it's led to this no disqualification match at Emergence. And who gets out to be a burn burner? <laughs> yeah, I mean, Cody has been a very good heel. Yeah. And leader, if you will. I think the promo he cut with Khan was very good. Right. Very well done. Obviously, we know Eric Young, the world-class maniac. Yes. One of the best wrestlers of Impact. Unfortunately, we didn't get what we thought was the rebirth of sanity. Whatever. Yeah. But I think it's going to be a good match for sure. It could go either way, to be honest with you. Yeah, I mean... Diener's dark... New... Or Diener's darker side has really... Like, ever since Diener has changed from being that OGB-obsessed redneck... Yeah. ...to the character he is now, he's come leaps and bounds... You know, Eric Young, I mean, his career has spoken for itself. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you know it's going to be an all-out war. Oh, I can't. Who's going to win? I mean, it's one of those things where it's like, what would, who would benefit more from this? Because, like, if Diener wins, then, you know, the design will go on to, you know, their next victim. And if Eric wins, you know, it's like, okay, what's next for Eric? Yeah, pretty much. I think, like, it seems to be outside of Eric and Demore getting that getting that victory. Mm. The design has basically had Eric's number essentially, and so. You could see, easily see Eric get the win in this one. Yeah, for sure. Holy cow. <laughs>
and you know, with the X Division Championship, and then we have Zack with the return, and you know, partner aligned himself with Trey again, and it's like, okay, that's good. I mean, it's good to see him, you know, still wrestling, and you know, why not go back to where you had quite a bit of success, and hopefully have more success. Yeah, I mean, it's still crazy to me how, you know, Zachary and Wesley were the NXT Tag Team Champions, and then Zach gets fired. Oh, I know. But, you know, that just goes to show you that, you know, you can't ever be too careful with what you post online. Wow. Okay, yeah. so you know, something you could post five years ago could come back to bite you in the ass. Well, it could, but also, well, whatever. Fuck cancel culture. Yeah. Anyways, subculture for the win. <laughs> Fuck cancel culture. <clears throat> what subculture? Yeah, oh, yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah. Subculture retaining in this one. <laughs> We've got the time machine taking on Bully Ray, Brian Myers, Leo Rush, and Moose. Let me correct you. You have Time Machine, Alex Shelley, Chris Saber, and, and Charles Alexander. Yes. The Nate Man Tag. Yeah. Time Machine and Josh Alexander versus Bully Ray, Brian Myers, Moose, and Leo Rush. I gotta say, Josh Alexander in that Bullet Club versus the World match, he looks like he hasn't lost a speed since returning from Torn Tricep, I think they said. Oh yeah, I mean, as soon as they can, they worked out hardcore. Oh yeah. They try to keep up with the cardio, whatever, you know. So yeah, he's back. He's better than ever. I think that's great. I think somebody needs to shut Rio Rush up. <laughs> Christ almighty. And I mean, Bully Ray and Moose are very good together. And I yes. think that's one of those things where you get the veteran in Bully Ray. He got Moose, who's been around for fucking probably five or six, seven years, whatever. Something like that. And, yeah, you know what? They're a good team. But then you got the time machine. You know, you have the time splitters, if you will, of Alex Shelley and... Kushida. Yeah, Kushida. And then, of course, Chris Saban, Alex Shelley, and Kushida. So, yeah. You know, these... I mean, you all know that the Motor City Machine Guns are... One of the best originals of Impact Wrestling as well. So, this match is going to be good. I honestly, as much as I don't want to see Leo Rush go over again, I honestly think it'll be Leo, Bully, and Moose. I'm going to take And time. Brian. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take Time Machine. Alright. Sonata versus Jake Softland. Yeah. Yeah, this is gonna be an interesting match. The title's not on the line, but what happened? Title. Oh, yeah, isn't that Sonata the IWGP champion? Or. Light head, I don't know. Junior Heavyweight Junior? Junior. No. Oh. That was, uh, fucking. He teamed with Mike Bailey. Oh. Multiverse. Yeah, um. Kabo. or, uh. Whatever the fuck. Yeah, whatever the fuck his name is. Yeah. So, anyways. I think Jake's something, despite his name. 
is not bad. I mean, when he came in with Cody, obviously that was a good take team. London, Ontario represent. But, not that we're from London. I yeah. think that this team that broke up and then, of course, was like, well, we can't call him Jake Diener anymore. How about Jake something? Well, no, I didn't call him Jake. It's Cousin Jake. Cousin Jake, yeah. Wow. So, and I mean, it could have threw anything in there. Jake. John. Jake. Philippine, Phillips. Jake. Any last name. And you gotta go with Jake something? Heck, what? Yeah. I mean, that and fucking Johnny TV, I swear to God. Yeah. No fucking create. No, that's a shame. I mean, a good wrestler, but I think Sonata's gonna win, though. I like the cocky, yet again, prick from New Japan. Yeah. And obviously, he is one of the best there. So, yes. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Sonata. Okay, I'll take Sonata too. Cool. Knockouts Championship match. Hi. We've got Trinity. Once again! Taking on Diana Perrazzo. Right. Can we put this feud to bed already? Ah, uh, come on. Like, is there not a lot of women in the roster? Like, Trinity just won the title, so I want to see her retain because it would be pointless to put the title back on a Volturosa. Yeah, I agree. So, sorry, I think Trinity is going to win, plain and simple. Like, I don't understand why you have to have this match again and 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 again because there is no point. Like, it's the same result most of the time. So, I honestly think Trinity's going to win, retain, and then, you know, put the title. You know, give another person a chance. Yeah. So. Yeah, I see Trinity retaining too. Before we go, we have to mention how I did a video about the both of these gentlemen. And it would be appropriate to yes. talk about the passing of Terry Funk, and more shocking, Linda Rotunda, aka Bray Wyatt. Oh, yeah. yeah. Terry, you know, he was battling dementia, and the fairly recent, you know, Mick Foley had been spending some time with Terry and taking him out for like lunch and that, and you know, catching up and Making Terry feel like he's, you know, still loved, I guess, or whatever, you know. And just not take away from it the uh, worries or whatever the fuck of dementia and whatever. And, you know, Terry was one of those guys where he brought a realism to wrestling, whether it be, you know, his feud with Jerry Lawler and Memphis in the M3 Arena match or feuding with Ric Flair or feuding with anybody else that you can think of 
you know, there was a realism to it, and he was just such a <laughs> unique individual, and like, even to be wrestling into his 50s and the shit that man did is like, uh, it just blows your mind. And then, you know, as far as Bray Wyatt is concerned, yeah, that's just absolutely insane. I said in our Facebook chat, you know, here's a guy that, you know, came into WWE, was in NXT, forms the Wyatt family, ends up building the main roster, crosses it on the main roster, and then, you know, they separate Harper and Rowan from Bray. They became the Bludgeon Brothers. Yeah. Eventually, Bray Wyatt went into the Fiend character. That ran for a little bit. Then Bray ended up getting released. Short time later, he came back. He returned at Extreme Rules last year. And then, you know, had that pitch black match with uh, L.A. Knight and, you know, just feud was, didn't quite have that consistent feud yet, but he was feuding with people here and there, and then he got COVID and was out for two months, and then I, I'm pretty sure it was being reported that, you know, he was healthy and feeling better and, you know, weren't exactly sure when we would see him on TV again, whenever he got cleared from doctors and that. Yeah. And it was, like, earlier this week, we almost lost Barry Wendell. Heart failure, he was at an airport in Atlanta when his heart failed and luckily a fan I guess or whatever started CPR on him until Magnus got there and brought him back and you know we're able to keep him alive and then not long after that we lose Wyndham his leg <laughs> no okay couldn't take Barry so I'll take you instead and, you know, I have a heart attack at 36 years old. Yeah. It's absolutely wild. That's why it always kills me when people talk about how fake COVID is. It could take you in any minute. And I know that Wyndham had heart issues to begin with. Mm, right. So just to have that. It's still a big shock, like it yeah. is one of your favorite wrestlers of the new generation, yeah. so to speak. It just goes to show you how you have to appreciate every moment, every moment of your life, because you never know what will happen. Yeah. Appreciate every moment of your life. Because you never know when it'll be the last moment. So, with that, thank you, Bray. And thank you, Terry. Your memories are going to live on. And rest easy. Alright. Let's throw it here. Let's throw Next, we talk about all in. Yep. Deuces. Peace.